Okay, this video is going to go over what makes the million, multi billion dollar framework setup. What is that? Again, it's just going to be a recap, and then I'm going to tell you some more hot, well, hot core businesses and hot businesses also to put in your core set of businesses to start. Because so many people all the time, I get them funding, and they're always like, blow the money, and they're don't even start their own business and don't even get the business they have going started. So these are ideas and businesses to start with the money you have versus wasting it. So one, perfect your own business and get that going. And then two, you follow my model like the last video. And then I'm going to give you some more core businesses to go over. And these are all basically all old school stuff with hot industries and this isn't even talking about all the newer stuff in the last five or ten years that makes money even easier to make. But you got to have this framework, your mind on it, and understand it, the structure of it, and the way it is, so you can transfer this theory and the concept of your mind and the way things work in your mind, so you get the language of the money, the the format and the way your mind needs to be working then you can go into other things and transfer it onto the way things work so in order to make billionaire status you basically have to do a monopoly of some sort and that becomes from doing two things one you either consolidate an industry or you make an industry so your tech companies, Facebook, Amazon, all these people, Microsoft, all these people, make, Google, make, made an industry. They did it by research, innovation, and speed, and hiring the absolute best people. When you have the best people, and you have the right amount of people, and the right culture, meaning you get them all together, and you have the right layout that you're going to promote them all, they're going to get a piece of the business, they're all happy, they're excited, they all want to move forward, and they're all on the same page, and the money's coming in, you're all working in the same direction, that is when shit starts to happen. That is why it is critical you hire the best people, not one Major multi-billion dollar company hired shitty people. They don't make it. Those companies fail all the time. And all the best people you hire, they collaborate and their minds get together. And they're the best at what they do. And the best person working with the other best person gets the best product. And it keeps going and you keep killing the competition. And that's what creates a monopoly. The best of the best. That makes the best company. Those best companies always win. That's why they're so far ahead of the competition. They're so retarded and stupid. They can't even, they can't even keep up. So that's making an industry. Consolidating an, consolidating an industry would be a large company, a large business, or something like one of your core businesses that I've been talking about. They get so big that they start buying out everything in sight. Now, the tech companies do the same thing. They buy, buy out all the competition and incorporate them and use their brains and use them to grow as well. But your standard normal business, if you start growing it, like the core businesses I was talking about, your doctors, chiropractor, chiropractors, dentist, um, lawyers, even accounting firm, and veterinary offices, they grow so big you can start buying out the ones around you and stuff. That's That's different, but... This is what makes money. Now, the next aspect of it, multi-billion dollar framework, is you got to specialize. Specialize, specialize, specialize. That's what makes money. Specialist. Specialization in whatever it is you're doing and how far down you can do it. Like I mentioned earlier, that was going into emergency services, 24 hours. And specializing on you know every aspect of it clear down to two or three different specializations from you know like you know mri screening x-rays and all that kind of stuff then you got children and pediatrics all that kind of specialized so all your businesses you're going to do they're going to overlap each other so money's going to run from each 
business to the other and they're going to create customers and money and everything's going to flow right into each other so even if you didn't even have a whole bunch of outside customers you got all the customers from each business funneling into each other and it's business on top of business because you're all right there and it's all the same format it's all the same group so these reasons and the science behind this is like proven laws of money it's even um, the wealth of nations written by Adam Smith. He says that's why nations are so rich is because they specialize. Even King Solomon back in the day, which was the rich man there ever existed, was because specialization. That's what it what does it. So you have your you have your specialization, consolidation, the monopolistic part of it. The overlapping of each company, let's say you grow in the next one, then you're going to streamline and perfect each one of them. And I mean streamline them like a system. you got to keep going back through your business, keep repetition, repetitiously going back through the business, every aspect of it for that whole cycle, for that whole day, from customer interaction to sales to the service to the end product to how the results to them coming back to not coming back and Go through every piece of the puzzle over and over and over and over like a psychotic freak, constantly improving it, improving it, improving it, improving it. Streamline and perfect it. Then you put that down on paper and you go give it to your employees. Try and have them understand exactly what you wrote. Then they tell you what they didn't like about it. Then you go retweak it again. You make sure this is down in writing on paper. So after they've told you it's hard to read, hard to explain, doesn't make sense, you perfect this protocol down to the finite degree. It's so perfect that after these employees have gone through it and your manager knows over and over and over, and you've tweaked it out to where it is perfect to the letter, to the T, that becomes the protocol then all new employees can follow it perfectly all the way through and stay on it and when they fall short of it they go back into training and they learn that again that's what makes them good and then you're going to go through role playing which is going to teach them how to act and respond and all these things to the customers and how things are supposed to work and when you do the role role playing you're going to throw down like hundred dollars thousand dollars in a group of people and they're going to come out with the best best person who wins gets the money and they're going to overcome all the objections and all these other things and everybody's going to perfect perfect their language how they speak to the clients why they speak to the clients and all these things and why they do things the way they do things and everybody's going to be on the same team same culture and that's how the business is going to be perfected it's going to be 24 hours now no matter what business it is it can even be from eight o'clock to midnight because you got New York early in a.m. and you got California and then you got outliers like um, Hawaii and Alaska. So literally your business is open from 8 a.m. till probably 2 a.m. And if you throw in the 24 hour for 24 hour aspect on many, many businesses, you, you could go even later than that. This is not counting up the whole internet type of businesses and stuff that's completely done on autopilot. When you have it perfected, you got automation and on autopilot. I'm talking about like when you have real businesses, real employees and things like that, you have this perfected. And then the system of the protocol of training the managers, training the employees and the manual is so good and perfected. People are going to be stealing it, trying to start your own company and all this stuff. But they won't be able to do it because they can't, because they don't have the brain. They got the piece of the puzzle and they go run off and make some money, but never as much as you can because they don't get it. But when they see it, they're going to want it. That's how you're going to run it. So all your company's going to do this. They're going to be all on residual income coming in all the time. Spread it out. You're doing, you're buying your businesses. You've got your real estate going and you've got your main business and your core business and the business you're buying every one of them when you do it this way and you keep them on growth phase constantly and expand and grow expand and grow and then go to other cities expand and grow okay so now that's your basic 
That is your basic framework, the basic system of billionaire status framework of what has to happen. You could start this out with your own basic business right now and get off its ass and put in the hours, put in the employees, put in the manager and do this. Get a manager if you don't have one, if you're self-employed. Get that thing on autopilot and get your money to start following in other things. Boom, 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 boom. So, other things I went m mentioned on the uh, last video. So, this one, I'm going to go over some more core things that are good, which I failed to mention, that are really good. And then some other hot ideas that are also good as well. So, you have the trucking industry. That's really great. That could have been one of the core businesses. Um, you can actually start out with, um, I mean, people say, well, I don't have money, but that's not an excuse anymore because you can do this. Even if you start out with specializing in what, what, what is hot in trucking right now is hot shot services or expediting super fast. And that requires anything from a regular van, a minivan, a truck, or if you have a little bit of cash. A 24 foot box truck, which is super hot because you got Amazon, all these other people doing deliveries and things like that that need it and they want it fast or and they just want to have it. And everything below 24 feet, you don't have to have a license, so you can get one, two, three, four, five, 20 of them, put the, put the drivers in them, and a 24 foot box truck will make half as much as a normal semi truck. And a normal semi truck can make anywhere from like I don't know, thirty to forty thousand a month. So your basic twenty-four footers usually can only go one way because you don't have a backup trip. But sometimes you can, but mainly just say one way and not overnight. You're still making twenty, twenty-five grand net on a twenty-four foot box truck with an unlicensed driver. You gotta find good drivers, but that's key thing. And now, if you want to talk about financing for trucks, I can get you a brand new semi truck, seventy to hundred thousand. With normally, I'll get you cash, and so it's basically no money out of your pocket, or worst case, maybe like ten percent down. Big deal. Whoo, that's nothing to make like thirty or forty thousand dollars on that truck. Now, if you want to go bigger for cheaper i can get like trucks at three hundred thousand miles for like fourteen thousand. you just got one of my clients has these you can buy like 10 at a time and for like you know 100 grand you just got a whole trucking company that has good tires good shape three hundred thousand is actually low on a semi truck and boom you're in business with 10 trucks and ready to go at like 30 grand 40 grand per truck a month so you got 10 there's boom three hundred thousand a month wow and all you have to do Probably sign up with another trucking company for a year so you can coast off their licensing because the licensing licensing on a first year trucking company is high. It will kill you. But if you partner up with another one, they work a little deal with you. They make a little money. You save a ton of money and bam, that is your trucking company. Boom, 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 boom. And the beauty is you don't have to have your license. You can just lease out your truck to owner operators and you can have 10 of these trucks doing this shit all by themselves without you doing crap. So that is big, hot money, easy. The autos, I have comp have clients doing five to 20 of those, renting them out to Uber drivers. They just have their standard insurance. Then they charge an upcharge for insurance on the vehicle. They're getting like, um, some of them like, uh, well, 150 average is like, 150 to 200 bucks a week some got five to ten cars that's simple and easy anybody can get in a car you gotta have four, four or five AUs and boom simple you have a car and we get a good price on the car and you get out several cars you can rent those out it's easy now the beauty about the cars are it builds up your credit and if you got one car then the next two cars or three cars we could put on your corporation, which builds your corporation up. Then I get you a cash lease back on the corporation again. So that's 200000 with a sorry 640 credit score right off the bat on the corporation. And then, boom, within three months, I could get you a fleet of trucks on your freaking corporation. Or I can get you at within six months up to a million bucks, which puts you into the real estate realm of the big stuff. And... On your way to opening up the licensed core business barrier entry level 
businesses with the doctors and all those other things. You go that route while you put the money on your own business and get your shit together. So trucking, autos, that's big. Now we're going to go into some other things that are hot as well. Um, kind of a new one. Isn't too much money overhead wise. Um, well, okay. We talked about doggy daycare. And some of those can go into uh, like old gas stations and things like that. There's a lot of those around. You can find certain places that have older uh, physical locations and you can do those things like that. The reason why I said the doggy daycare first, because what I'm talking about now, which is kind of a hot industry, is uh, wraps for luxury autos, sports cars like Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and all these things. Uh, a wrap is, if you have seen it on the internet, you go look it up. It's like the the saran wrap, aluminum, aluminum like uh, stick and coat that goes on the luxury, and you change the colors and all that stuff. So that's like ten to thirty thousand bucks per car, and the wrap costs maybe a thousand bucks. $1,500 and those are like hot cakes. Look at YouTube. It's like crack. Everybody with a rich car and all that stuff. I gave up the car thing because too much attention and too much problems. But I'm saying if it was back when I had cars, I would have done it. I would have done it all day long. That is your shop. You put that shop in and in that shop, you're also going to do the normal wraps for marketing with um, the businesses and all that stuff on it. And you do window tinting the wraps and like high end detail for like Lamborghinis, Ferraris and all that kind of stuff. Cause like a titanium wax on a Ferrari and all that shit, you're talking like a thousand to 2000, maybe 3000 bucks that you're going to have your car detailed out and you're going to pay it. I paid it all the time. I even paid a dude once a week to do the shit on top of the wraps. You got the detail, the tinning, and you got the standard wraps for the normal business owner. That business is banging. That's making some shit money. Hot money. That's cash. And that is like, well, and you could throw in the dentless paint repair. There's more money. And that's like no overhead again. All in this shop with your high-end clientele. And if it's in an average place, you paint it up and, and they will drive to that location. You could even put an east and west side on it. Or you throw that location in and then you do high-end audio. Oh my gosh. That alone, I mean, I have clients that have high-end audio, just regular audio in a shit little thing like that. I have clients like that making over a million bucks a year on a fucking radio. Radio stuff for the cars. That's a million bucks just on that alone. That is a hot business. That is cash, low overhead, fast, easy, and specialty. That is super hot. I'm just saying, that's a really good one. Um, next one would be like 5G installers, 4G installers, wire tower installers. Those contractors are doing really pretty good. You start that up, you get the contractors working under you. That's your business. Boom. That was low overhead. You just got to get some guys that you pay a decent amount, not afraid of heights and bam, you pick up the ones that are young and train and there's your company. Help them set you up with the rest of the employees. Grow big enough, you take over the whole city, you get all the contracts, you nail that down. That's a huge company. Your next company that is hot to start would be like computer repair, computer sales, refurbishing computers, selling new computers with the re refurbished computers, all that kind of stuff. Do a 24-hour service, charge your clients, all the clients in your whole database, like the whole thing is... The cable company, their clients, you're going to charge them like 10 bucks a month for a 24-hour service or something. And then that's barely ever going to be used. Maybe 15 bucks subscription type business. And you're going to make bank plus. So you got the subscription plus repair, the new new sales and all that stuff. And the builds, all that kind of stuff. You can probably throw in a security phase to it where you do it, go to their homes and then put the whole security systems and all that stuff. And you can start out with that that company basically just yeah five grand and you hire the right guy maybe get a location oh maybe 10 grand that's nothing that's easy so that's good business um we talked about like the uh, 
the uh, senior homes, adult daycare, that's kind of good, where you take clients and uh, entertain them on a bus, you take them on a bus and deliver them to different places across the city, so you could do like the bus type deal, uh, almost, the daycare thing, or the senior assisted homes, that, that kind of stuff, I don't know, that might work, there's some stuff you have to do it, there's, um, back on the trucks again um uh, when you specialize on it the the other specialty on it is not just the speed but you can do exotic type deliveries like that's another hot part of the trucking industry is being able to deliver stuff that is very unique and rare such as like um I don't know, they do like different things that don't really fit the normal things that are for speed. Uh, one of my clients has got exotic snakes and they will deliver those things like when these things get pregnant. Sometimes they'll deliver them like, you know, they need like, you know, have to go like within a matter of hours. So they'll pay. They got like, um, I don't know, a uh, thousand pounds of pizza dough has to go fast. Uh, just different things that have to be expedited. So expedited and unique delivery services you get the team you put the trucks together and boom so exotic snakes in itself is a deal too if you can deal with them i can't deal with them i hate them but it only costs like 20 grand for a good snake and maybe a good male and female he mates them he has several of them get this when they have babies they have like 300 babies he sells them well, uh, he says actually it's like 60,000 a snake. I've got him loans for this several times. So when he has babies, there are like 300 of them, and they grow up, you sell them at 60,000 a pop. I mean, he's got other things going. We've got him in all kinds of other businesses too, construction and other things. These guys shit together. I've had him for years. But that's one good thing. Um, trucking, i got a lot of trucking clients. The next good one would be uh, well, you got to probably have a little bit of money or figure out a way to get in on this. It'd be like a traveling MRI, traveling CAT scan, tra traveling medical specialty. Now, you probably won't have to have the money to do it. You just have to have the connection or the people that have it. And then you're going to contract it out and then get it delivered to these hospitals and all these other small towns or other places. And then they'll use it so much that that, that thing is going to set the facility and make money all the time because it's going to run all the time that's a big one um another one is finding old gas stations whatever and setting up fast food fast food sounds stupid but if you specialize like some of my clients are doing one of them and taking it taking the restaurant changing it putting a patio either going with jamaican or Mediterranean or whatever specialty and then the patio has a fence around it and all those tiki stuff and they get a liquor license and you got the painting on the side of the building boom and fast food and delivery so that's good you can do those all over the place those are simple um well we already went into the uh the temp service stuff and the staffing agency that would be getting contracts with all your big contractors, whatever. That's easy, low overhead, simple. You pay your people like 10 bucks an hour. They're going to contract you for like 20. So you're making 10 bucks an hour off all your people. You specialize them in like, and you get a lot of them, two, 300 of them. They could do the big jobs and you train them, you know? I mean, they're, they're probably already trained, so you don't need training. So you could do labor or specialty and do a headhunter service out of there and fulfill big jobs and get a commission on their commission which you know a hundred thousand dollars you probably make at least 10 grand a pop maybe 20 per person depends on how you set it up that's easy simple no science i mean brain dead stuff um convenience store gas station with a drive through window you perfect that if you did that in itself or you could do a gas station that is full service instead of self-serve but you have chicks and bikinis then you're gonna have in the uh gas station like the better food maybe pizza um 
a shop that changes oil and maybe a mechanic and they're still doing the bikini stuff and you could throw it into some type of franchise deal. Maybe throw a volleyball thing beside it and they wash cars and do the whole thing. Trick it all out. Um, and a car wash. And then even if you want to put a hot tub and outdoor barbecue and furniture sales with the thing, you just got to specialize on whatever the hell it is you're doing and that makes money bank lots of money um which brings me to another point of money you know i talk about it's it's the language of money and it's really not how smart you are it's how you do things because you can be retarded and stupid and make money if you just know how to do things right i'm telling you how to do things right these last two videos is exactly how to do things right that means you eliminate all your other thoughts of anything else in life that is sidetracking you bringing you down or keeping you from getting where you need to be you put your mind on this all day long bam it's game over i guarantee you're making millions of dollars you literally are this is proven a million times over and over. Just for example, um, you have like Charles Koch, Bill Koch, Tom De Devlin, Ren Center, Art Carney, Pizza Hut, and Phil Ruffin. Five multi billionaires. Get this, all from a small little town. And they're all buddies. And they all weren't multi millionaires, multi billionaires. These are some of the richest men in the world. Well, Cokes are. They're all buddies. They get together and talk and help each other with their problems in their individual businesses and collaborate and brainstorm. They all are multi-billionaires from a very little place. The thing is, how is that possible? Where normally that would never, ever, ever, ever happen. Because it is the language of money, the way you're doing things, and the collaboration allows for the streamlining and perfection and the constant growth of what you're doing. Versus being in a normal business, you never get a manager, and you're doing a job, and it's a shitty job, and you got a crappy job, you don't perfect it, you hate it. You don't make any money or you're working at a place. You're not making shit. You're not going anywhere. You're not getting any credit fixed. You're not getting any loans. You're not moving forward. You're not buying any business. You're not perfecting your business. You're not getting into any business. You're not getting into big real estate. You're not getting any money. You're not doing nothing but dying. I could tell this all day long because 90% of the people call me. I could tell from the minute they say one word. They are like a dead energy, dead dog lifeless piece of shit vibrational tone and they're just calling me like uh i wonder eh, i just wonder how you doing it always starts with how you doing well motherfucker i'm doing great what the fuck you call me for well uh i want to get a loan okay what's your credit uh 500 then why the fuck you call me uh i don't know yeah okay bye Fuck you, dude. Don't fucking call me. You got a loser fucking life. You're going fucking nowhere. Don't fucking call me. You want to get your shit together and call me and make shit happen, give me a call. But like all these people that are like that is literally like 70, 80% of the calls. I mean, you could tell them everything till you're blue in the face. You could explain everything. You could prove everything. They're so stupid. They won't do shit. And they, they do this. They're chronic losers. And they go backwards. And the reason is, is that your brain's turned off and you're programmed in the matrix. And you're so addicted to junk food and all this crap in your system. It builds up in your brain even more that you have not one clear thought and you have no direction and you have no path and you can't go anywhere. I'm saying if you focus on your business, what you want to accomplish, where you want to go, perfect it, streamline it, and constantly improve it, and do it, and do it, and you do it, 
and it's in your mind and you're going there, it happens. Now, if you get stuck on TV and all these other stupid things and your brain does not work and it shuts off like society does and you're programmed this, you just go liberal style backwards and backwards and backwards and and never go anywhere. I know these people just constantly call because they're expecting me to give them the Dr. Phil and the sympathy for their sorry loser life. I can't do it. I don't have any money. I can't pay for credit. Well, hey, if I said pay half now, pay half later, or even if I said I'd do the shit for free, which I've done, and I've told it to these super sad stories, and you know how many that I've done and said that to that actually got me back the paperwork in the last fucking five years? Honest to God, zero. And people wonder why. Why are you so mad and pissed off all the time? Well, because all these losers are calling me all the time. But yet, I can't say all of them. I'm saying I have like 10 to 20% incredible clients. They make my life great. I'm happy. I love to see the changes in their life. And solve their problems. <laughs> so, point is, it's frustrating as fuck. Point is, if you have the brain and the capacity to do it, this is it. This is how you get from point A to B. Big time. That is it. All mapped out, laid out. The whole thing. From zero to billions. And that's not even a joke. A million dollars is like a hundred, hundred grand. I mean, literally. You know. This, I could get you a million bucks faster than you could probably make a hundred thousand. If you just follow this plan... Get your mind on track. Get your shit together. Boom. A million bucks is a joke. That's almost poor. Not, well, it's kind of poor. It's really, it's actually poor. But I'm saying, you're not even at that level. I mean, that that's step one. And then you got all the other steps. All right. Well, there you go. You guys got to do your part. And then the rest follows. Put your mind on this stuff. And it works.